Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. I'm gonna show you the drill that was the best for me for learning TIG welding aluminum. I found this, I think it was on Fabrication Series or Fabricator Series on YouTube. But if you watch my channel, you haven't found his yet. This is how I learn to get better control when I'm TIG welding. So what I've got in my setup, it's a very simple TIG welding machine, titanium 200, TIG 200 from uh, titanium from Harbor Freight. All I have control of on here is my amperage. So and that what that means is heat. I'm running on 220 or 240, but I can go up to 200 amps of heat. And I'm gonna actually wind it all the way up for this video. So normally if I know I'm welding eighth inch or 16th inch, I'm gonna go way lower but I wanna show you how good of a drill this is for foot control on my foot pedals. So we're welding, these are just coupons, 6061 coupons. Um, I don't get anything for saying it, but they're from weldmetalsonline.com. And you can just order them, they come clean, ready to go, and we can just slap them down and start welding. So what I have here is an eighth inch plate. This is where I'm gonna start. I'm actually just gonna tack it down to a 16th inch plate uh, and then we'll go from there. We've got our eighth inch plate tacked down. Hopefully you've been practicing tacking. I just fused them. Doesn't have to be pretty. If I want it to be pretty, I could have used some filler rod. So what this drill is, is I'm gonna run my torch and I'm just gonna play with my foot pedal. And I'm first, before even thinking about filler rod, I'm just gonna get it hot and start to let this melt. And then I'm gonna move forward, move forward without blasting through it. So Corey's filming, she's gonna film my foot. So you can see what I'm doing as I get going. Essentially, you're gonna see me ease in really gently, get my arc started give it a little more juice to build it up. And then as I get going, you're gonna see it stay the same and then I'm gonna adjust based on heat. So I'm gonna to try to run across this piece of aluminum about halfway nice and uniform. Here we go. And if we come up top, we look at that aluminum, it's basically just like a little baby bead maybe. No filler added here, but this is just getting me comfortable with arcing up, especially on an open end. Again, this is eighth inch thick. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to about halfway. It's pretty hot now, but you're gonna watch, I'm gonna hammer down a little harder and I'm gonna try to melt this down just a little bit. We melted it down harder, and then I'm just doing, I'm pausing for a second, pausing and moving forward. You can see how much we burnt that down, I'm trying to do that nice and uniform with my foot. And then this last section here, I'm gonna actually add filler. So gotta make sure that you're actually melting into that plate and then adding filler. It's really easy to barely get it melted and then kind of pretend like you're adding filler, but I want to really see this stack up on top when I'm done. So you can hear it at the end there. I lost my arc a couple times just because I'm trying to be real sensitive with it. But that's letting it basically start to melt away just barely and then dabbing in filler metal, then moving forward. And you could probably hear, I hope so, and see my foot move in terms of cooling down. I started getting a little hot in the middle and I had to cool off a little bit. 
So what I wanna show you is this same drill. I've never even tried this, but on 16th inch aluminum. This is something that can help our channel. My Brunt Boots. So we have a coupon code, saves you money, gives our channel a little kickback. But I wanna show you, even on 16th inch, how sensitive this boot can still be in terms of controlling my weld. So if you're a welder fabricator, you need to be able to have fine tune uh, feel in your boots and then still have protection from the shop, metal, everything else. This is a great boot for that. So I'm gonna tack this on first and then we'll get going. Same drill on a really, really thin piece of aluminum. A little bit harder because it's such a thin piece of material that once you start melting in there, you kind of have to keep going with it. It's sunk in pretty good to the start. Now, we're gonna run a bead all the way the rest of the way across. So this is where, as this thing gets heated up, you're gonna see my foot doing a lot more stuff and I'm just going by feel. Again, my machine is turned all the way up. I can make this a lot easier on myself and give myself a lot less amperage and hammer down but I'm barely using my foot pedal in this. It's all by feel. Here we go. That was challenging. So you can see how much filler I was having to add by the end as this piece of material got super hot. And that, if you watch my foot towards the end there, it was basically pulsing, but with my foot. So it was just barely keeping an arc and sometimes you heard it go out and then building up a little heat to melt in and add filler. It's not the prettiest thing. Obviously the eighth inch looks prettier, but it's such a good drill to keep at it and not give up. I'm not waiting for it to cool down, but I kept going and kept working with adding filler and adjusting my amperage and my heat to get all the way across this without blowing it up. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That's my favorite drill for learning how to TIG weld aluminum. Give it a try, easy to set up. Probably got some scrap metal laying around. That's a great drill to get you more sensitive with your foot paddle.